obviously, uh, you, ahead, you coaches had some tough decisions to make late in this game today. Um, the decision to pitch to Corona a third, uh, a, that that last at bat. What you know? What goes into a decision like that? Well, I mean, did you want us to walk walk the bases loaded or? Yeah. No, I mean yeah. we we got we got our our uh, closer on the mound and you know I thought um, he executed his pitch. Um, you know, guy guy just got it. Baseball happens, but um, you know they they squared up some balls. They're a solid offensive team. There's no doubt about that, um, but no, I mean, not second guessing any of it. I think everybody was calm, cool, and collective. I mean, to come out and produce runs that late in the game, being down, um, the guys were excited for one another. Guerra put on uh, some quality at bats to get on each of those last innings and just kept the ball moving. Macias comes off the bench, gets on base multiple times as well, and I mean, Garrett Forrester coming in clutch two innings in a row to, you know, take the lead and then go out and win the game. So great offensive approach, great battle, and, um, you know, all around it just I, you compete till the very end. It was good. Was there a one at bat you thought really flipped the script for you guys? Walk off. <laughs> uh, no, yeah, I don't know if it was one specific at bat, but, again, I, I think – Guerra drawing the walks. Macias coming off the bench and drawing the walk as well. Uh, those are big. Uh, Tanner driving a ball as well and, and, and keeping the line moving. Guys just keeping the line moving um, was exciting. Brady Casper, you know, going opposite field, home run, really staying on the ball. Um, and so he's showing power to both sides of the field, especially early on. Their, their starter came out. He's got a really quick arm, uh, really good slider. And so we weren't on time early in the game, but uh, second time through, we just kept getting better with our timing. Our attitude stayed the same, focused, and then our timing got better to see the ball and uh, getting good pitches to hit and driving them. After struggling early in the conference play offensively, do you get do you feel like you guys are at the point where you could say, for the most part, you're clicking on all cylinders offensively? I mean, we've been we've been scoring some runs uh, last several weeks. Guys are putting together quality at bats. Uh, you know. Baseball, it's it's gonna come, it's gonna go. Pitching will be good, and offense will struggle, or vice versa, whatever it may be. You know, it's just putting it all together at the right times, um, minimizing mistakes. Still love what we're doing on the bases. Guys are getting aggressive out there, so it's putting a lot of pressure on everyone else. But we're doing a lot of the the little things right, um, and guys are having great conversations. So we're learning from little mistakes or prepping for whatever situations are to come. So we're sitting in the, sitting in the dugout, and we're like. All right, so here's what's going to happen. He's going to get on. He's going to get on. We're going to bunt here. They're probably going to walk Boz, and then they're going to have to face Garrett. So we're in a good spot, especially when they uh, were getting, like, Boz and Forrester and McTowell and all those guys rolling. Like, the more at-bats, the more pitches you see. I mean, like, Brady is first at-bat of the game. Saw five pitches, ended up getting out. But, hey, man, every time you see five pitches that first at-bat, like you're learning something and your chances the second and third at bat drastically increase. So um, I thought we were in a good spot. You talked a lot over the course of the season about the energy and the mentality. Did you feel like all of that growth paid off like today where the game just goes back and forth late and maybe late in this game you could have had the wind taken out of your sails, but not today? Well, we, we've... Uh, it, Hardships are going to come. You just got to be able to learn from them and continue to grow. I mean, we were at a point early on where, you know, if you look at the wins and loss column or batting average, we're not, you know, obviously where we wanted to be early on. But it's acknowledging it and learning from it and putting in the work as opposed to moping and crawling in a corner and saying, uh, woe is me. You know, none of the guys did that. They just wanted to keep getting after it, keep working, put themselves in tough situations so that they could grow. And we're seeing direct results from that. I do believe that, you know, anything you've done a week, two weeks ago, if you've been busting your butt then, you may not see it the next couple of days or that week. But if you keep uh, with the plan and staying consistent with that mentality, it's going to pay off. Or at least gives you a really good opportunity for it to pay off. So there's no guarantees in life, but um, there's no doubt. The, I mean, Dallas walks by. Now, he hasn't been on the field in, in a little while now, but he was ready for his opportunity. He's been up in the cage, getting his work in. He's, you know, still controlling the zone, laid off some good breaking balls down. 
I think it's just guys are learning from one another. So I love the growth that, that we have right now and we've been creating throughout the season. And that has a lot to do with the coaching staff, the players, and you know, just the overall support that each guy is giving one another. We're still sticking with gratitude. We're still sticking with uh, pumping each other up. And those guys that aren't getting a ton of playing time, those guys are the ones that are really driving it as well because they're working hard. They want to get in there. I mean, you can see it from Tyce Peterson. He's had a handful of starts now, putting together some quality at bats. Um, you know, had to uh, make a substitution there. He got a little tight, um, but it just goes to show you never know. Kyle Donetti was a great story two years ago. Didn't play vast majority of the year, and he kept working. He was ready for his opportunity. Um, and, you know, who's the next guy that's going to do that? So, Any update on Jaron? He's work, he working back right now. It, it's just time and uh, daily check-ins, taking care of the body. Um, you know, we'll see. It's day-to-day -day and uh, as he's working his way back. But strengthening and doing all those things. Um, but we always want to make sure that um, we're putting the student-athlete first with their, um, you know, mental and physical health. So... Not going to push it with them. Garrett, say anything to you guys after they walked Bazzano for the second time? Like, hey, I got this. Was there anything like that? No, nah, not that I heard. I, I everyone just kind of knows. I, when Boz is up there too, and they fell behind, um, you know, I, shoot, I guys hitting you know 380, and and he's a really tough out, and he left the yard earlier in the game. Um, you know, why wouldn't you to create some force out situations, but. Garrett's got a tremendous eye. He will draw a walk. He will get hit by a pitch. He will drive in some runs. He, they're both extremely tough outs. There's really no way of getting around it. And you could go to the numbers like who's who's got uh, you know worse numbers against righties or this situation. But I mean, hard, always hard in the moment to tell what's the the right or, or wrong answer. Cool. All right. Thanks.